facial recognition technology has been around for decades. However, in recent years, it has seen more widespread adoption. Why? Artificial intelligence. Advances in deep learning and faster systems for processing enormous amounts of data has helped the technology come closer to reaching its full potential. This has led to higher accuracy and faster processing times. Governments and private companies are taking notice. The global market for facial recognition is expected to reach $12.92 billion by 2027. And it is not just for safety and security, just to name a few. Facial recognition software is starting to appear in retail, transportation, the hospitality industry, and the banking industry. But what is facial recognition technology? Facial recognition is a biometric tool. As with other commonly used biometric technologies like fingerprint recognition, iris recognition, and finger vein pattern recognition, facial recognition identifies a person based on specific aspects of their physiology. Though the software can vary, the process of facial recognition tends to follow three basic steps. First, your face is captured with a photo or video. It doesn't matter if you're alone or in a crowd. It can happen in real time. The software then measures a variety of facial features called landmarks or nodal points on the face. These could include the distance between the eyes, the width of the nose, depth of eye sockets, distance from forehead to chin. Each program uses different nodal points and may collect up to 80 different measurements. This information is then converted into a mathematical formula which represents your unique facial signature. That facial signature is then compared to a database of known faces. This can all happen in a matter of seconds. Facial recognition technology can be traced back to the 1960s. One early system developed by Woodrow Wilson Bledsoe classified photos by manually recording the coordinates of facial features such as the nose and mouth using an electronic stylus. When the system was given a photograph of an individual, it could retrieve the images that most closely resembled it from a database. In the 1990s, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the National Institute of Standards and Technology designed a face recognition program, which eventually led to more sophisticated automatic face recognition technology. One early version of this technology was tested at the 2002 Super Bowl, when law enforcement officials scanned the crowd and found several minor criminals. Although that experiment also yielded a high number of false positives. However, the technology blossomed in the 2010s because of rapid developments in artificial intelligence. By 2014, face recognition systems were being regularly used by police to identify suspects in the field. However, since its inception, facial recognition has been polarizing. A significant use of facial recognition technology is in the area of safety and security. Law enforcement agencies use it to fight petty crime, help locate missing people, prevent terrorist attacks, and even uncover local criminals. Security checkpoints at airports worldwide are increasingly using such technology to protect flyers and to identify criminals trying to enter the country. The Department of Homeland Security also uses facial recognition to find people who have overstayed visas or who are under criminal investigation. Today, several companies are developing watch lists as a service, using face recognition data platforms to help prevent shoplifting and violent crime. Facial recognition technology is getting faster and more accurate every year. This means that it could also soon be used to make our lives more convenient. Using your face print, business, hotels, and financial institutions will be able to seamlessly verify who you are without the use of a physical ID. There is even a bar that uses facial recognition to create better service for customers. There are vocal arguments against facial recognition technology, with the biggest being its threat to an individual's privacy. Some cities across the world are already working towards banning real-time facial recognition. Why? Your facial data can be collected 
and stored without your permission. According to a May 2018 report, at least 117 million Americans now have images of their faces in one or more police databases. There are also concerns regarding safety. Apps that allow individuals to use spatial recognition software to identify someone they see on the street or at a bar already exist. Finally, the technology is still far from perfect, and there is evidence that many facial recognition algorithms produce far more false positives on non-white faces. It has also been demonstrated that it is not difficult to fool facial recognition systems. Researchers have already developed anti-facial recognition glasses, which make wearers undetectable. This has not stopped facial recognition from being widely adopted. Despite all this, the technology is increasingly used in mobile devices and consumer products as a way to authenticate users. College classrooms and testing facilities are using it to take attendance and prevent cheating. Retailers are using it to stop theft and to identify customers in need of assistance. And some automotive manufacturers are developing ways to use the technology in place of car keys. In the future, facial recognition can also be used to target products to specific groups by gender or age, to offer a personalized experience to restaurant customers, or to boost patient care at hospitals and clinics.